Okay, so in this video, we continue our discussion on finding the parameter. And I will be taking you through some, several examples on how to find out perimeter of various objects. So now this is our first example. We have to find out the perimeter of this object here, which uh, the points are marked. The four corners are A, B, C and D and the lengths are given, which is very easy. But in real life, you won't have these lengths. You would have to go and find them out and then you proceed to calculate the perimeter. Now. How are we going to find the perimeter? So as I told, we just pick up one point. So since A is the starting uh, letter of the alphabet, I'll just pick up A. You can pick up the point B, C, D or anything. Okay. And what, what essentially we know that perimeter is just measuring the length, total length along this boundary. So we first go from point A to B. So that is the perimeter. perimeter equals length of AB okay then when I move from A to B I will go down from B to C so then we we are going to add that length B to C then from C to D we measure the length CD and then from D to A so what we have done that is DA. So we have covered this whole boundary along this object, okay, which is a rectangle, as you can observe because these two sides, the opposite sides are of same length. So now we will just substitute the, the numbers for this length. So what is the length of AB is 40 centimeter, for BC it is 10 centimeter, for CD it is 40 centimeter and for DA it is 10 centimeter. Now when we add up all of these we have 40 plus 40, 80 plus 20 is 100 centimeter. So this is what we get as perimeter for the... Now if you just see perimeter, generally the unit of perimeter is just the length centimeter. It could be meter as well as we'll see in the other examples. So this is nothing but we are just kind of measuring the length. The first aspect of mensuration is to be able to measure the length. And perimeter is just going around this figure once. Now let us see another example. Okay, so in this case it is a square. And if I want to find out the perimeter, we will again follow the same method which we did earlier. That is we just go around the object we start from A to B, B to C, C to D, that is, and D to A. So essentially what we are doing is we are traveling this way one at a time. I'm not able to get straight lines at the moment, but I am sure you are getting the concept. So we are traveling this way and it is going to be length of AB plus BC. Then we add CD and DA. So it is nothing but 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So that amounts to 20 centimeter. Do remember to write down the units. So we have perimeter of the square is 20 centimeter. Now later on we will try to reduce this calculation by trying to come up with a rule for finding out the perimeter of regular shapes. Let us see one more example. Wow, now this is a bit not so straightforward. But then we are going to uh, use two methods to do this. So let's say the first is our method A. Method A in which we will be going all the way along the object and measure the lens of all of them. So what is it that we have? Let's again, I mean, I'm just using the notion of starting from A to B, B to C, and C to D. So let's just write down the perimeter as AB plus B to C plus C to D plus DE. Wow, then from DE 
we are going to go to E F. So, okay, then from E to F, we travel from F to G. So this is F G. Then from G to H. So we have G H. Then from H to I. So we go from here. We need to add it here. Then we have I to J. We add it as I J. Okay. Now we have J to K, J K, then we have K L, K L, and then L A. That is when we cover the entire boundary. So when we substitute the numbers, so A B is one, this is three, and C D is again. 3 D E is 1 then we have 3 again then we have 3 again for F G 1 for G H H I is 3 again we have 3 again we have 1 plus 3 for this and again we have 3 so this is the perimeter will come out to be so let me just count the number of threes. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight threes. So you can even make out, you can see that there are eight threes here. Okay. So eight times three is 24. And how many times do we have ones? We are going to have four times one. So 24 plus four, which is like 28 centimeter. Now this was a very dumb way of calculating right but there's a point that I wanted to bring out to you the point is if you have a regular figure it's very easy to find out the perimeter just by observing so for example if I observe this figure closely I know that the length of one portion of this figure let us say that this portion here we just find out the perimeter of this portion and then we know that the remaining three let us say that this is part one two three and four they are going to be same so what I can do is I can just find out LA plus AB plus BC which is three plus one plus three it is equal to seven and then we simply multiply this by four so the perimeter using perimeter using this formula is going to be 7 times 4 is 28 centimeter so this is one of the key takeaways from this problem is to try to observe the regularity and use it to simplify the calculations now let us take one more example now in this case there are no tricks involved so we have to actually go through the entire perimeter and uh, the entire length of this boundary and add it. So proceeding as usual, the perimeter is going to be again as a matter of convention and starting from A. So from A to B plus we go from B to C. Okay, then we have C to D, that is C D, then we have D E, so we add D E, then we have E F, so I am going to add E F and then finally from F I reach back to A, so we have F A. Now just substituting the values for these, what we get is 100 plus 120 plus 90 plus 45 for DE plus for EF we have 60 and for FA we have 80 now let's try to simplify this so 100 plus 120 is 220 plus 220 plus I can take up 60 is 280 plus 80 is 360 and 360 plus 90 is going to be 360 plus 90 is 450 plus 45 
450 plus 45 is 495 meters so that is what is the perimeter of this so uh, now let us just try to summarize the method to find out perimeter so uh, I mean one of the things that you understand is for all the figures that we did they were all closed figure and they were made up of entirely of line segments so whenever you have a scenario like that that is we have a closed figure made of entirely line segments what essentially we did was just to find out the sum of lengths of all the sides or essentially we just found out the length of all the sides and added them so essentially it is just trying to divide a particular shape into line segments and then measuring so for I mean this could also be used in uh, approximation so for example let us say you have a land like this now one of the ways actually you keep on traveling and along this and then measure the length other ways you can just try to approximate it into line segments so for example this is one line segment other one this this I hope you get the idea but this is the way it's like we just try to follow it as much as possible and then we measure the length of these line segments so uh, that was about some examples about finding perimeter see you in the next session